Good evening, everybody. Doc Skinner here. You're watching 1028 Live right here on 1028 Live on Facebook. I have with me MZ and the Crazy Cajun. Good evening. Good evening. And uh, we're trying out new microphones because yeah. uh, we had sound issues last night. So um, hopefully everything's looking good tonight. Yes, hopefully. I think so. We'll we'll open up the comments and uh, yeah, I'm going to pull guys, up. Uh, comment on it, make sure it sounds good. What have I stepped in? I have a picture of like a cherry. I was going to tell you about that earlier. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Perfect. I get it. All yeah. right. So um, I had my notes and I lost them. Did you put them down somewhere? Best I did. Yeah. We had so many notepads out that I just I yeah, lost them. But a couple over here. Lots uh, of actually, things. for our sound guy, real quick, can you turn up the other mic, the mic two, please? Just push that one up so we got some sound above us as well. Yeah. See, though, we're See, just trying different. We're trying. Now. We got we got this whole place <laughs> we mic'd like the NSA. Yeah. So um, absolutely. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it, man, I can't believe I didn't. I lost my my notepad with all the notes, moving everything around. But I think we've got you know things taken care of. I'm hoping we don't have oh, that. There we go. Oh, 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 here, this just in. Okay. Not my notepad. Not your notepad. No, oh, maybe, notepad. maybe I have your notepad. It's yes, you have my yeah. that's you have my ah. notepad. Maybe I have yours. That's why. Well, it's only got that one on it. I mean, okay. Well, I don't know whether that's any good. No, bro. Okay. There's, nothing, had, yeah, there's nothing else. All right. Well, you know, we'll just rely on the internet then. Yeah, okay. That's how we get everything. So uh, you had some stuff you yeah, want to go right. on and pull so, some things up. Uh, obviously, as our new president to be, Donald Trump takes office on the fifteenth of this month, I believe. Um, so he did Celebrity Apprentice. For many years, many, many years. Be fired. Thank you. So now they've announced the new apprentice boss, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, no way! Absolutely. That what was that? that was I, it was the worst. The worst. Do it. Do it now. Get to the chopper. <laughs> so, yeah, he's been announced as a new celebrity apprentice boss, which uh, will be airing on TV's near you very soon. <laughs> so, I, can, I can see it now. He's like, we'll hire. She's what? what? <laughs> you hire. <laughs> so what? Who's <laughs> out of nine mil? You're fired. Oh, I'm out. See okay, you. Yeah, Exit stage right. There you go. So um, yeah, he's going to be the new celebrity apprentice boss now. Whether he's going to be able to take on how Donald Trump was and be that kind of brutal effect, I'm not sure whether he's going to be able to do that. He's an actor. He can do it. Oh, yeah. yeah, but he's not really been in movies much recently. That's what was it, Expendables 3, and he was in it for about 15 well, seconds. Well, it's, it's, acting no. isn't like you, you rust good. after time if you don't you know, polish it every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> You're all weak. Yeah, thank you. Um, also in the news today, Janet Jackson, uh, Michael Jackson's sister, 50 years old, gave, gave birth to a baby boy. He, did, he said 50? 50. 50 Not years bad. old. I mean, I mean, I, women at 50 are having babies, and I get that, but it just blows me away that she's 50. 50 yeah. years old. The baby's name is, is Issa? Issa Almana. That's kind of how it's spelled. Right? Issa Salamander? No. Not Issa Salamander. Issa Almana. I'd be scared if last name was Preston. <laughs> <laughs> We can be shut down real quick. Yeah, yeah. So uh, thank you for watching our final episode yes. of the <laughs> yeah. season. Season premiere oh, episode oh, number three. Oh. Bye. So well, yeah, well. Megan Kelly, uh, famous um, um, Fox geez. News anchor for twelve years, has decided to move over to NBC. Mm. It's got to be about the Benjamins. It's the money. It's got to be about <laughs> it's the money. money. Absolutely. I mean, you know, you've seen her dresses. Yeah, it's about the money. Well, I don't think she's shopping at JC Penney's. I don't. <laughs> that or is for Ross. sure. That is for sure. Ross and the twenty-five. But you're off. more than welcome to sponsor us if you like. Thank you. Yeah, That's very much. So yeah, <laughs> she's uh, she was the one that got into a bit of a um, a, a spat with uh, Trump and Clinton on the presidential debate where yes. he just tore into her. Yes. And you know what? She handled it like a champ. She, really she did. did. So she That's did. the joys of being in uh, journal being a journalist for so many years. You know how to kind of. Put it over on people. When yeah, well, I'm, I'm hoping we're not going to be doing no presidential debates anytime soon. I'll be down for doing it, you know. It would. Yeah. That have would... You, oh, have you seen? Have you seen? There's there's a there's a page on YouTube called um, Bad Lip Reading. You see the yes, one with yes. the NFL, uh, NFL, and, oh, yeah. and, and they do the one of the they do the one uh, of the presidential Trump debate, and, and it's hilarious. Mm -hmm. And they did a time of my life out of Dirty Dancing. They did a lip sync of Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton doing that on one of the debates, wow. and it was so funny, wow. so funny. Uh, also in news as well today, Facebook Live, obviously, which is what we're on right now. 
Um, it's got themselves into a little bit of trouble. Um, wah, wah. In Chicago, it shows a Facebook Live video of four guys holding one guy hostage oh. and beating him. What? Yes, literally. Um, fortunately enough, the young man is in hospital and he's doing okay, and they have arrested wow. four people. How long did they Facebook Live? How long did they let it run? Um, didn't say, but it was actually done, supposedly done by one of the attackers. Um, in the video, so wow. yeah, so uh, Big Brother's watching. Was, was it, was it, it Chicago? Chicago. Yep. Wasn't that in a movie where they were like filming? Um, I know which one you mean. Um, yeah, that one, you know that one. Anyway, anyway yeah. now uh, going back to 1912, back when Doc was just a child, mm. um, the Titanic, obviously big movie, everything else that came yeah, we, from it. We talked about that the other. Yes, night, yeah. we did. Yeah. So iceberg or no iceberg? That is the question. The rumors are now of the guys that have been diving down to have a look at um, at the Titanic that a massive coal fire may have doomed the Titanic in April of 1912 and not actually an iceberg as originally thought. So, so the yeah. movie Titanic that James Cameron made yep. and the story that's been told in history uh -huh. to all of us growing up, well, everybody that grew, yeah. grew up here, it was always an iceberg. And now they're saying now they're saying it was burned down. Well, they're not clarifying it one hundred percent, but they said they can fire see at sea. fire at sea is probably what caused wow. the structural um, uh, to 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 soften up. So when it hit the iceberg, it did more damage because apparently Titanic was unsinkable. Now, did you know there was two ships? There was two I ships. Think now, I've this, heard of this? Yes, yes do, there was do two, tell. Two Titanics. Well, technically, two Titanics. Oh. So Harland and Wolf Brothers Shipyards in Belfast Island actually made two ships at the same time. One Titanic, one called Olympic. Now, Olympic went out to sail a year before and actually hit another boat and sustained serious damage to it, which made it an insurance write-off. It was never allowed to sail. Mm -hmm. so, at the yeah. so at the time that Titanic was ready to set sail, they supposedly switched the plaques and the identification from the Olympic to the Titanic oh. and sent the Olympic out wow. as the Titanic wow. because it was already under the, an right. insurance write-off, so it was just a way for them to claim more money back. I think we found a story for the Absolutely. big reveal. Absolutely. So that's just kind of the basics of it. There Ooh. was a lot more information on that. Actually, I learned that at school. That was about one of the only things I did learn. Really? Yeah, yeah. They I, tell that was, you that. That was probably the one day that I went. <laughs> Let's right right have a quick chat with him. There you go. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much kind of what's been going on in and around the news today, um, which was uh, quite a lot going on. Quite a yeah, lot there on. is. Um, actually, I came across a video that I wanted to share. And what I'm going to do... This is all technological this is stuff. All new. I like no I said, idea. every day we're advancing I further and further. We okay. may have a couple hiccups, but... Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, like a hiccup, we're, we're looking for a, a mount for the TV... So it's not so close, <laughs> and some long cable. Um, so let's. Uh, so what we got going on here? Watch this. Yeah, watch um, if I can, oh, I hit the right button here. Yeah, I want that. Okay, check this out, ladies and gentlemen, and pay attention closely. This is for all you parents out there. Hang on, why does it say where do we invade next? This is uh, a clip from Michael Moore's uh, new movie. Where oh, do we invade okay. next? All right. So check this out. It's silent at first, but you'll hear in just a second. So it says, uh, Finland has one of the highest ranked schools schooling something. Okay, they did this overhauling their entire system. Here's what they did. Turn on your sound. A film by Michael Moore. So here's what happened. Back in the day, Finland's schools sucked on the level that ours suck on. When they tested the world's kids, both Finland and us were usually about the same, you know, somewhere down the list of nations. But Finland didn't like that. So they tried some new ideas, and in no time, Finland shot to the top of the world. Their students were number one. Number 29. How did they mm. do that? Check this out. That All the kids will love this. That's the question I wanted an answer to, and I went straight to see the enemy's minister of education. Before I could say anything, she blurted out their top secret. They do not have homework. <laughs> But um, boom. So you do the homework you give them in school? Yes. They should have more time to be kids, to be youngsters, to to enjoy the life. So they have no homework. What well, if all they want to do is climb a tree? They could climb a tree. Yeah. They can climb, climb a tree, then they learn how to climb a tree. But they end up while climbing the tree, probably finding out about different insects, and they can come to school next day, tell me about what they found. 
Compared to the older kids, how many hours a day did the younger ones go to school? Wait for it. Um, Mondays, three hours. Tuesdays, four hours. It varies. It's 20 hours a week. Wait. So they're, oh, man. Now, does this three or four hours at school include the lunch hour? Yes. Includes How lunch. Are you getting anything? How are you getting anything done? That's great. Your brain has to, it has to relax every now and then. If you just constantly work, 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 then you stop learning. And there's no use of doing that for a longer period of time. Finland students have the shortest school days and the shortest school years in the entire Western world. They do better by going to school less. So, all right, so we're going to cut that. So they... you're telling me then that, that all these years that we've been at school and our kids have been at school, it's kind of pointless. Almost. It's it's been, I mean, it's been proven through the the, the Finland that, uh, yeah, Finland it, have got uh, it, the Finland have got it going creative. down. I mean, they they figured this out and they made great meatballs and homeware and desks and stuff. Yes, so but it's, uh, the they're number one in, in education and and wow. these kids are smart because they are allowed to have their creativity and, rather than being forced. Yeah, and, 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 oh, and okay. I mean, at that age. And I believe in this strongly too. A kid should not be having the stress over tests and homework and all this stuff. Do you think Sim we can implement that into like regular day to day life at work? Just going there. So I'm, I'm going to work some, for three. Some countries three are doing that now. They are doing it to three days a week or four days a week. There are companies that are doing that that believe uh, a different way of thinking. If you Google uh, the new three day, four day work week. Um, See, I'm down for I'm, I'm down, right I'm now, down yeah. for the two day work week and the five day weekend. I think we should be implementing that. Saturday, Sunday work, Monday through Friday off. I think, I think. Do you think we can I make that we, work? I think we can make it work. Oh, there you go. That's just not so here. Out there, not any, any, any of you bosses? Yeah, actually, boss, come on. <laughs> any of you bosses out there, take it on board. You know, your, your, your people will work a lot better if they had five days off as opposed to one or two. True, just, true. Just putting it out there. And, and they'll be a lot happier. And, 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 you, and they won't be calling in sick as much. That's true. And if you have an HR department and you want, you feel strongly about this, email your HR department tomorrow <laughs> and tell them, because Doc Skinner said so, we're having a two-day working week and a five-day weekend. Amen. Knows how, knows how I bounce that one off. I don't Amen. know what to do with this. Yeah. Yeah, boss. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to make it. You only work one hour a week, but I'm not feeling good this hour. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. This, hour. You just, you just, yeah, just I called you on feeling that feeling one it. hour. I'm feeling it. Yep. Oh, it's going to cost a lot of gas money, but you work next door. I, I know. That's a lot of... That's but that, that's, that's a really cool thing because, you know, I mean, I've got two kids that are in school right now and... Think of the time you could spend with them. Yeah, but I'm always here. If, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> oh, but, but, yes, but oh, well. yeah. But no, no, you're absolutely right. I mean, when we were at school, it was like Sunday night, right after dinner, you'd be cracking on with the homework to make sure you got like 15 essays done by Monday morning. Um, and you're right, it does put an immense amount of stress onto the kids. Mm -hmm. So, and I, you know what? I think Finland have probably got it right. They got I, it right. I really do. I mean, obviously. I mean, they rank number one right now. Yeah. So, yeah. and they, they, they are making some changes. Not saying I'm going to move there anytime soon, but I think it's a policy that we should entertain and, and discuss in school systems. But see, here's the thing: I mean, is it's been the same for so many years, uh, uh, and it's it's the norm. It's like work nine till five. It's the norm. It's there. It's been put into place for so many years. Mm -hmm. How are you going to How are you going to go against the grain and change it? How, how just is like it? everybody else that's done it throughout history. That's how you, you just have to, instead of going, I need somebody yeah, right, to come Churchill. rescue me. <laughs> be that somebody. Oh, that's all. Churchill. <laughs> is, is he oh, the one that yes. said that? Is, that is, is he the one that oh, said that? Oh, yes. <laughs> but no, I mean, you're right. Maybe there is, now that we're into the 21st century, about changing things. Whoops. My bad. I was trying to set something up. My bad. Yeah, he's getting there eventually. Yeah. Uh, anyway, while he's messing with that, real quick, uh, this weekend coming up, um, <laughs> forecast of snow again up here in oh, no, the White Mountains. Yeah, uh, tomorrow. Yeah, I love the snow. yeah, old old Billy is getting a little bit uh, chilly with it. Yeah, bless him. Bit, We're actually going to rename him well, Sand the high, the Sandman. High today. The high was like two. <laughs> there you go. What so tomorrow, have? high of 44 degrees with a chance of rain and snow and also entering into Friday as well. So if you are out and about, please take your time uh, out on the roads. Just, you know. Be safe. Be safe. Be safe. And, uh, yeah, just to give you an idea okay. of what it was like today. Oh, here we go. 
Oh, I know our executive producer himself. Here's our executive producer himself on the mountain in sunrise. Let me bring down the volume a little bit here. Because it's pretty windy. It was very windy and very cold. Wasn't it, Brett? Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Brett's running cameras today. So, um, yeah, this is his, his trip. Good it's, snow it's, up there. Yeah, it, it looks really good up there. Now, is that, are you at, uh, where were you, a Cyclone or Apache? Apache. Apache, nice, nice. Very. But that, yeah, it's, pretty uh, yeah, it sounds pretty windy up there. And that's, got, a, that's a cool shot. This was actually, was this, this is like your second Facebook Live? Yeah, it was. So, you know, our crew, we're going to be, you know, Facebook and Live, I guess, from wherever. Yeah. Please but uh, that's our executive producer. So snow report. It's been snowing. It's been snowing and windy. Yeah, snowing and cold. And windy. So cold. let me there you go. get that out of the way. Now, if you guys have been noticing, uh, we got our sc big screen here. We're going to mount it on the wall here soon. Get some extension cables. And uh, you're going to see sponsors, people that have, you know, donated and, uh, yeah, advertisers. Absolutely. So it, it's happening eventually. It's going to get bigger and better, but we're taking baby steps. <laughs> I think we've come a long way from a few days ago yeah, with the Wayne's World heat, set. We have heat in here as well, which is yes. epic because now I can feel my feet. Oh, I know. Yeah, that was that was not fun. That was the first night I went to bed with socks on because my feet were that cold from being in here all day. <laughs> so, yes, uh, thank you to the propane company. Propane. Bobby. Bobby, we need some propane. There you go. Because <laughs> Peg, is, Peg is complaining. <laughs> yeah, it, it was a little it's, bit chilly. So. <laughs> all right, so um, if you go to our... Uh, Facebook page 1028 live uh, we're, we're posting some stories there that uh, we will be discussing um, let me get back to it real quick I was so while you're doing that can we mention some of the shows that we got coming up yes and uh, yes yep. so while he's flicking through that uh, flashback radio online radio Facebook YouTube is going to be um, season premiere or should I say yeah mm -hmm. going live um, February 6th from 7 a.m. until 9 a.m. in the morning with myself and Deals. we got some way of getting back on the air. So what we're going to do, hopefully this weekend, if we have time to, we're going to set up a little teaser show just to kind of give you guys an idea out there of uh, of what, uh, what to expect, and it's, it's pretty cool. So if you haven't already joined, go to facebook.com forward slash flashback radio. You'll see it there. It looks like a red and blue sign. It says flashback on it. Um, like that. Currently, right now, I'm posting a video of the day, a music video of the day, just to kind of give you an idea of what sort of music we're going to be doing over the period of time and what we're going to, what our plans are going to be. So uh, this weekend, hopefully, we can get a little teaser video up of the studio and everything else once we got it put together. Yes. Um, looking forward to that, um, Doc. We're going to get you. Obviously, you're going to do your own show as well. And anybody out there that wants to learn media, yeah, we need help. Place to do it. Uh, Radio, TV, the whole nine yards. So if you're interested, uh, email address for Doc is. Uh, yes, 1028productionsaz at gmail.com. There you go. And if you want to email the radio show as well, because I have to remember what it is, it is, beg your pardon. See, look, we're not even set up for this. What are we doing? I know. We're getting there. Uh, it is flashbackradioonline at gmail.com. Again, flashbackradioonline at gmail.com. If you are interested in becoming part of either of the shows or the multitude of shows that we're doing. Yes. Um, if multiple. you multiple, multiple shows, multiple and they're just gonna keep growing, absolutely. Um, uh, fingers crossed, we'll have uh, one of our new show hosts here tomorrow. Yep, um, looking forward to that. Actually. Yes, yeah. looking yeah. forward yeah. to that. We're gonna, we're gonna, yeah. we're, gonna yeah. we're, we're gonna put some rocks down and we're gonna have a fire. I'm gonna sing Kumbaya. Oh, yeah. Marshmallows, the whole nine yards. Yeah, I, I'm telling you. <laughs> that's, what we, that's what we call roughing it. Yes. We're gonna, we're gonna turn the lights off, you know, pure, oh, non electric. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so yeah, we're looking forward to that. And what's the, um, have we told them what the name of the show is yet or not? Which show? Uh, the one of the, the gentleman that's coming in tomorrow. No, um, we're going to let him reveal it. Okay, all yes. right. Maybe really cool. So uh, stay we're, tuned we're gonna, tomorrow night. We're really going to play some of the music from his show. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we've already got that all. It's, it's, you already it's, got music set up for it. As well. Oh, we've got not just that, not just the intro music, but all the music for yeah. the background of all these different types of scenarios. Have you got mine done yet? Huh? You haven't done mine yet, have you? No. But we are. <laughs> See, all the crash all, 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 all the crash all all And do you know what? I get sweet sod all out of it. You know? <laughs> oh, well, all right. Anyway. So uh, there was a couple other things that we posted up on our page. Um, let me get back to it here. Should we do a cooking show? Brilliant. How, how are you at cooking, by the way? I'm pretty good. 
can you? I mean, can you do? Mm. You can do a, a jambalaya show. A what? Jambalaya. Well, that's what we had last night. You guys just didn't know what it was. Jambalaya is rice that's and sausages, it was, right? Yeah. It's like a rice and sausage type thing. Well, it is. I mean, it could be a you know. Fest. Your whole show on that. Different like, jambalayas and. Uh, know Justin Wilson, you know, like, yeah, I roll on tea, you know that guy. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah sure. Pinch of salt, he's like, or is it like a, a little splash of wine in the... Yeah. Actually, half a bottle yeah. in there and a half a bottle for me. Yeah, okay. Well, we just found out that uh, everything's working great, so... Oh, that's good. Oh, really? Uh, Wicked. Crystal clear, oh, sound, We are live. Video. We are live. We are live. Okay. I forgot to tell you that. Sorry, my bad. But it was a great rehearsal, right? Yeah, it was a great <laughs> rehearsal. I didn't curse or anything else, so it's, it's Yeah, I'm good. glad you didn't. So, let's see. So, we went to... Let's go on the page. There was an image that is going viral... I, I keep looking over at Brett, thinking that he's the camera because his sunglasses are on, the reflecting. Oh. Thinking that's a lens. It looks like you snowboard. <laughs> like, yeah, it's a snowboard glasses <laughs> on his head. <laughs> um, if, if you go to our page, uh, now I, I'm gonna post a bit. I'm gonna put this video up here. Um, I don't think you've seen it, uh-huh. and I want your honest opinion. Am I gonna cry or? I don't know. No, no, no. I think you're gonna kind of well after you laugh. You might oh, cry. okay. It's All one right. of those. Bring it up. Okay. Let's have a look. All right, so we're going to bring this over. Let me uh, start it over again. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have sound on this. Right. Okay. Uh, what do you, what do you that's my bad. This is from Fails and Accidents. It's called what? Fails and Accidents? Yeah. And well, it sounds gruesome already. I don't know if you've all heard about this fake news thing that's going around. Okay? And that's not what we're about. Go on. Have you heard about this whole scandal of fake news? No. Oh, this is big. you got to... Okay, so, okay, you guys are funny. So, uh, no, I have, I have a perfect no example. The government is, is trying to blame all the alternative news shows and talk shows like us. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. It's awesome. Uh, anyway. Drinking coffee at 7.30 at night. What am I doing? So, <laughs> Go I, on. Keep, I, I keep hearing us talking somewhere. Where are we talking at? It's like oh, a parallel it's universe. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Um, anyway, so if anybody's been watching the news, uh, they've been talking about this issue with fake news, and they're trying to shut down people like Alex Jones, Paul Begley, who we, we watch, um, BP Earth Watch, a lot of the guys who I want to have interact with our show. Right. And, um, and for example, uh, the, the interview, I was going to be on the, on the show with Blake Cousins on Third Phase of Moon yeah. on Monday night. Yeah. Right, right. Mysterious circumstances. Trying. I mean, he was able to be in the chat room. I mean, we were on there with him, yeah. uh, but Yo. could not get the, the show up at all. And so it's not the first time it's happened. But that was interesting because they're, they're trying to call him fake news. But he's just reporting UFO sightings. He's got videos, and they're really great. Okay? okay. So uh, a lot of people talk about conspiracy, and we'll talk more about that in the big reveal, but there's always been that conspiracy about staged attacks. You know, false flag events. Right. That you know, really oh. wasn't a country. It was another country staged as them. I think I did see the video you're um, you're talking about. Okay. Well. I, yeah. Okay. So so uh, let's check this out. Um, this is a security camera footage. I don't know what country this is, but this is not the what? first time. And this is on our 1028 live site that you can watch on Facebook, but. 313,000 views on this. Yes. Ridiculous. I know. Ridiculous, right? But not as ridiculous as I, what I think you're about to see. Check this out. This is some people filming with their phone a security camera footage outside their building. This guy right here has just placed something in that vehicle. He gets into this truck. I'm only narrating because I don't know how well you can see this. And he drives off. Nobody is here. It's an empty courtyard with a, a, a messed up car, but watch. Boom. Right. Now, pay very close attention to the screen. Oh, did he slip? Oh, did he slip too? What is this? He's all covered in blood. This guy's calling for help. Look, an ambulance just happens to be there. Ladies and gentlemen, what you're seeing are called crisis actors. They get paid good money. I tell you what, I wouldn't want that ambulance service coming to pick me up. Don't yeah. even check for it, just drag them away. Yeah, right? right? Yeah. Now watch, now see, the, the actors are in place. Now this guy starts screaming and hollering 
to people out in the street. Oh my God, oh my God, look what happened, look what happened. Now all these innocent people that had no idea that this was a staged event, all get there and they're like, oh my God, this is horrible. And the emotions run wild. And then when they get interviewed, it's their true passion. These people are being used. Ain't got time for that. I know, and it's ridiculous. And look, they're just carrying them away. <laughs> that went by every so, Reggie Dunk Day. So anyway, this, this video has been going viral. And um, I, I, it's I, you know, I want to laugh, but it's like I'm, I would be disgusted if I did. Do you, I mean, do you think this was kind of set up along the lines of, you've seen the movie Borat, right? Borat, yes. Okay, which was... So you think this was a scene from the new Borat movie? No, but just kind of... Could be. He's done same, stuff like that. The same essence of him doing a movie, but bringing in real life people that have no idea what's going on. Same kind of concept. Do you that think is, that could be a possibility? And, and we should write something out like that. That sounds awesome. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, no, no, I'm just saying. I'm saying. No, I don't know, like road trip across the country and freak people out by doing stupid stuff. Yeah, but just incorporating real life people. Doing so, it. if there's an RV company out there that would like to sponsor this trip, I mean, or any of the local car dealerships that maybe I don't know has a right. Challenger Hellcat, Mustang GT, Camaro, that kind of thing. I mean, we'll take that as well. I, I, and that's and fine. KOA campsites, you guys rock. Who? KOA campsites, campsites of America. All right. They come with bathroom showers and. Cable TV. So hang on, wait a minute. Hang on, hang on. Whoa, time out on this whole camping thing, right? <laughs> so, all right, obviously, as you know, I'm not from around here. Um, really? We used to, yeah, I'm oh, from Pine Top. Oh, okay. um, but when, when I was a kid, camping was a tent mm. out in the middle of nowhere with fire and you took water with you and you caught your own food or take a little bit with you. What is the deal with camping here with something that is as big as your house? That you take with it's, And somebody goes, I know. no, I, I asked funny. somebody this the other day, I went, well, it's it's home from home. Well, stay at frigging home then. <laughs> you know, you gotta go out camping. It's like, come on. Well, so, think about it. If you, I mean, your kid, I mean, maybe you do take your kids camping, but no. most kids, they would want their Xbox. That's very true. I mean, you and can't, you'd have that on there. You can't the, plug the, that the into a daughter's cow gonna want, make it work. The daughter's yeah. going to want a bathroom. She's going to want to have a shower to do her hair. Well, then the two preppy, or the two princess and princess fine to go camping then. Stay at home. Well, yeah, but it, you know, if you are going cross country, yeah, an RV is awesome. Well, and that's <laughs> mostly what KOAs are. They're for RVs. Yes. They're okay. not many tents. They do have some tent sites, but they do have these huge bonfires, and you meet people from all over the country. So it's a um, bit, a bit like the new National Lampoon's Vacation one. So, so that was, I have to say, was one of the few sequels that was actually decent. pretty good. I was. It was Quick thing good. about RVs. Now yes. I don't know where the, this this puts to the point of stupidity. There are, there are a lot of stupid people out here and. And but this guy rents a Winnebago, one of the old school type RVs, right? And he's heading across country. And he decides halfway through his journey, he's on a big long straight road, he flicks it onto cruise control, gets up, goes into the back to make a cup of coffee. Wrong with that. It's cool. Obviously the, the RV runs off the road and he's injured. He sues the RV company because apparently in the manual it doesn't say that you should leave the that you're not allowed to leave the seat once you put it in cruise control. He thought he was autopilot. Hmm. Sued him and won millions. Now, going on from that, again, with stupid, we should do like a stupid part of the week. A guy um, gets an electric drill, okay, mm -hmm. he's up a ladder and he's doing something up on his house, gets an itch in his nose. What does he do? He puts the drill bit into his nose, hits it, blows his nose out, right? Sues, <coughs> sues the company because it doesn't say on the instruction manual, do not put the drill up your nose. So, okay. I used to be an insurance adjuster when I yeah. told you I went to Katerina uh -huh. and I helped. Okay. And you have to go through this um, insurance adjusting course and they go through all these laws, but they also tell you where the warning labels came from. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> like on the it, lawnmower? Yeah. It's, Would you like to know the story of the lawnmower where they had the sticker that says, don't put your hands under there? Because somebody did. Because one guy and, and his buddy, they were wanting to watch the game and the wife was like, you can't watch the game until you trim the hedges. So they grab the lawnmower oh, after they turn on man. both sides, lift up to go like this, and lose their fingers. Lose their fingers. Here's a here's a good one. Airline gets sued, all right, mm -hmm. because they obviously they hand out the courtesy peanuts on the plane, right? Yeah, well, insane. they hand them out to somebody who is allergic to peanuts, who eats them and goes into anaphylactic shock. Sues the airline company because it doesn't say on the back of the packaging, warning contains nuts. So now, I, I kid you not, if you go fly again and you get the curtain, look on the back of it, in big letters, it says, warning, 
may contain nuts. No kidding, it's a peanut. <laughs> no kidding. But that is the level. Of, that is the level of stupidity that That's people great. are like, you know. <laughs> so, if you are one of those people, just don't go outside. Just, exactly. just stay in your house. Don't touch anything. Well, sorry. We're gonna, do, we're gonna do something different. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. I'm not. I'm not gonna cut your hedges with a lawnmower. That'd we're going to. I ain't gonna uh, do that. <laughs> we're gonna do something a little different. We don't have the ability to cut or edit in, so... This is cool, though. Here's one of our uh, sponsors. Sunrise. You want to squeak some more back there? Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> but the problem is, though, that wasn't his chair. It, it that was, was his alone, hips. too. No, it's just, no. just, just sad. No, that was his hips. Oh, my... my hips after sunrise. There you go. Oh, my God. Yeah, he was at Sunrise. So, yeah, that was a segue into this. That <laughs> <laughs> was a segue into Johnny Five. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen... If you haven't had the opportunity or, or weren't aware, Sunrise has just installed the longest uh, zip line in the state of Arizona. We had the honor to uh, film the commercial, and uh, here it is. It's cool. Yeah. <coughs> that was the scariest part, was the bridge. Really? Yeah, for me it was, because I hate heights. Mine was the final one. Oh, that was funny. Oh yeah, you you were you were, I, yeah. I was holding on all the gear. See, look, there's me. Yeah, yep. there, you are. there is, and and the daughter's on there as well, and the wife. It was cool. There you are. That was kind of scary. That was a little bit. That was me. stepping off. That this is where it freaked me out going down what they call Bear Alley. Yeah. Whew. I was. It, it, was it says one. 55 miles an hour. You go a lot faster. Here's Mark. Of course, I'm, I'm on the other side with the camera filming this. And See me kicking my legs around. I was trying to turn around before yeah. we hit the brake at the bottom, which really hurt because I went backwards. 200 Highway 273 Greer, Arizona. Go check them out. It was uh, one that's really cool. I'm sure they, they will have tickets. I don't know if they're going to... Are they open for the Line winter? 6, I believe, is open through the winter, even during the snow. Okay. Um, yeah, they... Weekends only. Weekends only. Okay, perfect, that is sorry. awesome because not only get to do that, but you're doing it over a snowy mountain. We got to go do that. We got to take the GoPro. Yeah, we got, yeah, we need to go okay. do that. We'll get so, that lined uh, up for a uh, couple Brian, of Brian, if you're listening, if, if, watch yeah, it. if you're watching, uh, hey, and, uh, we're giving you, you know, so yeah, give us a call. Absolutely. All right. So uh, and, the, and, and this also shows you the extent of what we can do with regards to filming for commercials as well. Uh, oh yeah. When he told us we were doing the zip lining. I'm like, how are you going to film that? You're going to be underneath it? Oh, no, I'm just going to strap a GoPro to me and off he goes. So. Whoops. And it wasn't, even, it wasn't even strapped. No, it me. wasn't. I was no. like holding on to it for dear life. Okay, it's so, also a good job that we can actually edit because I'm um, pretty sure on that one way you go down Bear Alley, Doc does swear several times. That's why there's music. Yes. That's why there's music yeah, in it there. It was definitely an old poopy moment. <laughs> <laughs> several times. So, <laughs> okay, so I just lost the commercial. So you just lost the commercial. <laughs> Now, for a second, uh, let me grab it out of this other one real quick. So we just got to keep on talking while he's messing that's around. A, yeah, why, that's why you're here. Um, so, oh, you got it? Are you I good? You ready? Okay, so we'll show the final play. Uh, wait, here we go. What I have here is a 2017 RAV4. All new. LED all-wheel drive. Has pre-collision system with pedestrian detection. What that consists of, children coming out in front of you, skateboards, bicycles, elk, you name it. It's going to assist and stop. Also, we have... Auto high beams, last but not least, the lane departure. It has so many more features I can talk about, but I only have so much time. My name is Ron Boss, Hatch Toyota Show the Learners Owner. Please call me on my mobile, 928-242-8217. Thank you. There you go. So ta tax season's on its way. Oh yeah. Know? So check, go, go right. see Rob, yeah, and uh, he is. He's a great, great guy. Great vehicles down there. And well. um, they're all great up there. The whole staff, yep. Chaz, all you know, Seth, all of their their guys, the mechanics. Every yeah. time I needed some help, they've 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 been there. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. All right. I've pre pretty much covered everything I've got. Are you. Well, let's. I think. Well, ah, no. No. Like it's weather like Logan's head, Bob. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. That's my bad. Yeah. Um, oh, I, did you see, to, actually talking to weather real quick. So i got friends that live up in Bozeman, Montana. Um, and I know okay. it gets cold up there. To the point, to the point, it was, neg the temperature was negative, negative 19 this morning with a wind chill that made it down to negative 45. At negative 17, your fingers start to die. No doubt. Yeah. yeah. 
It's like, and literally on, on there, she, she put, there, she yeah. posted a picture of what the weather forecast said, like the screenshot, uh-huh. and it showed pictures of igloos. That's how cold it was. Wow. Yeah. So wow. anybody who's decided to move to Bozeman, Montana, don't. It's cold. Yeah. <laughs> It's it, cold. If, it's cold. <laughs> it's just he it can't move. His jaws are frozen. <laughs> but they, they, but here's the thing: they're like, oh, you want to come up here during winter? It's lovely. No, thank you. Oh, very cold. Very cold. Well, the, I guess I guess what I wanted to say was uh, now that I remember what I was going to say right. is that if you would like to have your commercials, oh, I keep looking at Brent. We got to move the camera or the table because I keep no, looking at you. Just got to move him. Yeah. All right, if you would like to have a commercial done, uh, it's, uh, it's an awesome deal. You get a 30-second uh, MP4 in 1080 on a thumb drive, and it's yours. Yep. You do what you want with it. Mm-hmm. You own the full rights. You want to put it all over you Facebook. <laughs> you want to put it on YouTube, Vimeo, on you your website. Yeah, right. If you want to put it on the uh, uh, cable networks, satellite TV. We can help TV. you with that as well. We yeah, Mar- that's Mark's department. So, okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So we can channel. help you with your business and put the power of advertising back in the business owner's hands. So oh my goodness, we have Elton John in the right. studio. That is kind of cool. Still, still. Well, Devo is my neighbor talking throughout my life. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. So, um, man, I, I thought we had more stuff. Uh, well, we've been, we've been rattling on for 45 minutes. So we, did, we did, we did. I, I, was, oh, I think God, it's because God, I was God, expecting God. we were going to have events tonight, but uh, oh, we yeah. moved it to tomorrow. That'll be tomorrow. Sorry. So, tomorrow. so and to tomorrow, tomorrow is what? Thursday. T- tomorrow's Thursday. Friday. Friday is going to be big. Yeah. I don't know. It's big. But, it, well, but I'm sorry, it's I'm Friday hoping. night. we got to do something <laughs> awesome. It's our first Friday night. Yeah. We... we Question for you. Yeah. I mean, uh, it doesn't apply to you so much because obviously you you stopped the whole drinking thing. But dry January, a lot of people are doing that. Did you know that they're going no. dry for January? Well, am I am I in the club? No, you've oh. been dry since <laughs> July. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I get extra credit? <laughs> I think. Uh, do you know what I think we need to do? We need to speak to a, a certain person at a certain bar somewhere, and on a Friday we need to do like a drink tasting night. They can come up with a, a concoction. taste test. A taste test. They come up with their new concoctions of cocktails or whatever they got. Bring one down here. I think. Are you down for that? Because I'm up for having a drink on a Friday. What I'm uh, thinking. Friday, remember, if you drink, morning, do not drive. Well, safe ride. See, <laughs> what I'm thinking is we should. Because if you haven't seen this yet, this is one of our other productions, a new show that we're doing. Um, we kind of slacked over the holidays. This is Mixology 101 from The Lodge, brought to you by 1028 Productions. And bye. Hey, what's up, party people? This is Chris coming to you from The Lodge Bar and Grill in Pine Top, Arizona, sponsored by the awesome folks at 1028 Productions. I don't know if you can hear him. He's kind of low voice. For today, I'm going to be mixing for you. It's called a breakfast in bed. Uh, it does carry bacon, so vegetarian is not just bad. What? So, what we're going to be doing is uh, two to one butter shots and Captain Morgan. And you're also going to be having a little, little quick splash of orange juice. Then we're going to shake all those bad boys together and bring it into a shot glass and garnish it with just a nice slice of bacon. So, it goes down to good morning, noon, and night anytime. I'm here Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights. This drink does run about six fifty, but it is well worth the price. And uh, you will definitely not forget it ever. Uh, so go on in and see me and my awesome colleagues, and uh, we'll all have a good time, guaranteed. Thank you. All right, I got it. That was Chris from the Lodge Bar and Grill, located at 857 East White Mountain Boulevard in Pine Top, open from 11 a.m. to 2 a.m. I got a question. Okay, maybe you can answer this a little bit. Is this, all, is this all the uh, outtakes? I'm just trying to find the arrow so I can... There we go. Switch it off. And that's pretty cool, too. There you go. Yeah. Um, can I ask, why, why is bacon and cheese such a substitute for everything? I don't know, but I love cheese and I love bacon. But, like, I kid you not, I went to, to a local gas station the other day and I bought myself a cheeseburger, right? On uh-huh. the back of it, it says, made with imitation cheese. That is a scary thought, yes. But cheese and bacon... I kid you not, my, my wife bought bacon-flavoured... No, chocolate-covered bacon. Bacon, yeah. Mm. 
Uh, not getting it. Mm. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, you, you know, know, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Talk about it. If anybody wants to make it for us and bring it, we could try it. Yeah, I just I chocolate and bacon. Yeah, really? Don't, don't break too yeah. many, three, four dozen. No, no critter stuff either. Just, just yeah. like normal yeah, stuff mixed together. Like, really yeah, weird. But then you dip it in. Dude, let's do cheese. that. Any restaurants that want us to there taste test for you? As long as it's not seafood. Yeah, I can't do. Bo- yeah, no bones. I love crab though. Damn. Crab legs. Yeah. No. Minus uh, the radi- in Fukushima radiation, but I love. Oh yeah, don't worry about them. Yeah. yeah. But no, I think we should do a drink thing on a, on a Friday night if we can speak to these guys at the lodge. I'll be the ref. And, and well, no, it's not a race. <laughs> I just want to try out. <laughs> After the third drink, it probably will be. Awesome. I gotta get it all. Now we can also have it sponsored by a local hospital as well, just in case I do <laughs> a liver transplant eventually. Summit somewhere. Hospital, give us a ring. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, maybe we should try and do that. We'll we'll see if we can get that lined up for Friday night, and uh, we'll have a drink tester on a Friday, and uh, we'll test out all the the new drinks and stuff. Until that they we do. get our stage built. Maybe we could use the lodge stage <laughs> for right. oh. our musical guests. There's a point. There's a point. If you are a buddy musician out there, give uh, us a buzz. Let us know. Ten twenty eight productions az at gmail dot com, or just message us on Facebook yeah, as well. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So that's a lot. Uh, we, we didn't even get into the crazy news, but we can do that tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. Save some fun for tomorrow. Save, save some fun for tomorrow. So I know you got to get out of here. I have to go home to the wife. Yes. Yes. yes that's not right. that I have to. I no. Want to. You I want love my to. Wife dearly and my kids. Yes. But um, because of that, you have to leave. My problem is, is when the kids start hey, calling. Coming she's coming on yeah. Friday. Is she? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They were going to come in. She's going to be here tomorrow? on Friday. No, Friday. Friday, she'll be okay. here. Um, yeah, my concern oh. is if I spend much more time here, the kids are going to start calling the milkman dad. Mm. That's not good. So, yeah. Uh, I'm, that or me, or I'm Uncle Doc. Your Uncle something. Yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think you should. Yeah, yeah. You're, so, you're, you're the crazy uncle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? yeah, that's and, definitely and, the crazy. And, and you're no. Well, okay. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> so anyway, look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow night right here on Facebook Live at ten twenty eight live, seven p.m. Monday through Friday, until we we're done. Pretty much. <laughs> all right. I'm out. So, oh, you're out? You're out? Now you're not even let me do, not even let me do the song? I was going to do the song, and it was going to be awesome. And, all right. Well, uh, I'm going to play. We'll see if you leave, then I can't play the music. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> Seriously, he just hit the button. Button, yeah, there we go. Right, right, that. That, 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 that one, right?